Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday to all of my amazing Torians. Hopefully you all having a great day today. I know you are because that is the intention you said. Happy holidays to each and every one of you all. Hopefully you all are um, really pampering yourselves during the holidays, making it all about you. I hope that's just what you're doing. I hope that's what you're doing, Taurus. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Taurians because your ruling planet is retrograde. Actually, it's yours and Libra's, but this is all about you. Let's get into it. Yeah, in every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where my Taurians need to take action. Yes, Taurus, let's get right into your reading. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you. Please comment below if this video resonates with you. Yes, please take the time to comment below because people want to know what the videos are about and see if it's if it's going to resonate with them, you know. Spread the love. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. You know what? These cards are really trying to act up. Here we have the uh, the Two of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. Are y'all trying to hide from money? Like, what is going on? We have the Ace of Cups. Uh-huh. We have the Nine of Cups. And we have the Knight of Cups. So there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion in your cards. When I look at your cards, there's a lot of emotions in your cards. And so when I look, when I see here, I see you all have a big heart. You all are really, really sweethearts, right? Real sweetheart energy. But again, you got these blindfolds on. Somebody has really been hurt in the past, like emotionally when it came to love. Like you really trusted your big heart and somebody just stomped all over with some combat boots, right? But guess what? What's coming your way? Love is coming your way if that's what you want because not everybody's interested in a romantic relationship. So take the blindfolds off. Take the blindfolds off. Everybody has good in them. Everybody has bad, right? It really is. That's why it's so important for you to write out what your expectations are of your person. Like, who, what do you really want? Write it down, Taurus, for real. Like, don't go through life unhappy with, you know, looking at the past. Like, why can't I find the right person? Like, where are they? Do they exist? Or am I going to start dating aliens? Like, sometimes that's how you feel. But it's only because you haven't really written down what your, your criteria is. Like, what do you want in a person? Like, you know what you have to offer to a relationship. You all know that you're very logical, very generous and trustworthy. You all are very determined, sign, very understanding, very kind, very organized, very patient, very stable, responsible, devoted, practical, reliable bulls. So listen, let me give you an example. Because keeping these blindfolds all is keeping these blindfolds on, like you know, because you've been so hurt in the past because you have a real big heart and you love deep and you love hard, is really affecting your money. Money is really attracted to you, Taurus, but it's a fake. Whatever amount of money you're making right now, more money is trying to be attracted to you. I did business ideas, starting a business, more money ideas are, you know, are attracted to you. And so I need you to take the blindfolds off because listen. Let's say, for instance, because you all really love family and like um, when I say family, not just blood relatives, but I'm talking about like um, a lot of you all love family because um, um, I don't want to lump everybody in the same category. And a lot of you all are still friends with uh, people you've known for many, many, many years. And that's like that's your that's your secure, your, you know, to make you help you feel secure and just balanced and and and, uh, and grounded. Right. So let's say you're, you're dating somebody who doesn't have a close relationship with their family and they wouldn't understand the closeness that you have with your, your core group of people, then that may not be the person that you want to date. You, in your mind, you may be thinking, hey, I'd like to bring them into the fold and the whole nine yard. But at the core, they are not connected to their own family for whatever reason. You don't have to judge them. It's just, it, I mean, they could legitimately not be connected to their family. But because you all are nurturers by default, you may want to bring them into the fold and say, hey, this is what family is about. This is what, you know, sometimes we fight, sometimes we, but we still love each other. You know what I'm saying? So if at that interviewing stage, um, and again, this may not apply to everybody because some people may be in a happy, healthy relationship. But I'm saying, like I said, just take what resonates with you. Anything that that is blocking you from getting to your money in love, 
then you want to you want to sever ties with it remember your ruling planet venus is retrograde right now and also one of aquarius's ruling planet is uh, retrograde right now uranus so as a fixed sign it's giving you an opportunity to to be open to change that's why i said take the blindfolds off that's uranus and then um because this sword energy is air energy. So giving you an opportunity to change, it's going to be, uh, Uranus is going to be retrograde until January the 18th, I believe, of 2022. And then your ruling planet, Venus, is going to be retrograde until January 29th. So this is the planet of love, the planet of, uh, not just agape love, but erotic love, of romance, of uh, relationships, of money, and all of this. So really, you have time to kind of sort of, you know, come out of that, um, like being stuck in the, in this mindset that, Hey, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to just like be a robot. I'm just going to leave these blindfolds on. I, I don't want to hear no evil, see no evil. Yeah. There's good and evil in the world. So it's really, you have to be the person Taurus to kind of sort of set, you know, set your criteria. Cause I'm looking at you meeting your person. That's if that's what you're interested in. And I see you all being very, very happy, you know, legacy, building legacy well together. And I see that happening for you very, very soon. You're at the end of a long and arduous journey that you've been on of enlightenment. Yes. So this is where you're not going to be so hard on yourselves. You all are very hardworking people. And so it's time that you met your person. Like the, all of other people in the past, they're in the past. You don't have to ever say anything negative about them, nothing bad, because you don't want that karma. You, you re That's what delays the release of for things for some people is the, the gossip. And I tell this to every sign, not just Taurus. It's like that, that release. I mean, like, you don't want to throw yourself into a cycle. Take the blindfolds off. There's some great people out here. I'm telling you, we got almost 9 billion people on this planet. And I'm seeing you find your soulmate, like your person. We're like, where have you been all my life? Like, where have you been? It's because they've always been out there, but it's because you haven't really written down exactly what you want in a person. And I'm talking about when I say get detailed, I'm talking about detail. We're not talking about I want them to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. That's great. That's one thing. But what do you want their spirit to be like? Do they have the same values as you? You know, are they, do they understand, you know, is their definition of family very similar to yours or close long-term relationships? Is it close to yours? I'm telling you, some people are, some people, like I said, they don't have close relationships with their family because maybe they came out of a very dysfunctional family and maybe they're afraid to trust. Like seriously, maybe they're afraid to trust people. So don't be this person right here, emotionally wounded when it comes to all your happiness, money, peace, joy, the love that you want, all of that. Not even realizing you have the key because you're this close. It's this simple. I'm telling you, Taurus, I'm trying to help somebody. I hope it resonates with somebody. Again, don't forget to add your comments below. But Taurus, write it down. All earth signs need to write down exactly what you want. So when you when it happens, so you need to see it so that when you're interviewing people for your next husband or wife or partner or whomever or friend or whatever, and they don't they don't fit in that criteria, you don't need to take it another step further. I don't care how good they look. You know, how rich they are, it doesn't matter because money is coming your way. So you're not worried about acquiring their wealth. It's already coming your way. You are, it already is attracted to you. This is about you really sitting down and having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with self. Self, this is what I want. I wrote it down. I'm not accepting anything less. This is negotiable, and this over here is non-negotiable. And they fit in a non-negotiable a, uh, I got to get up and get, a, get away from the table. Here we have the queen of cups, sit down and meditate, get near some water so that you can replenish those emotions and you can take these blindfolds off. Some of y'all emotions have completely dried up. This, um, this sword energy is air. Like y'all have been, y'all have been in relationship with people who have literally felt like they cut the air supply. So you are kind of like walking around with no emotions whatsoever like you know what i'm never going to be hurt again i'm never going to love that deep again because it hurts too bad i'm telling you move to remove the blindfold because love is here we have the emperor card so a lot of people are bosses in the workplace like you're you're thriving when it comes to the workplace but in the love area it's like okay i'm, I'm never loving that hard again and that deep again so but i do see a lot of people going through this is um one of your sister signs this is virgo i see somebody going through like some really checks and balances very meticulous 
people don't understand like the word gossip is coming out real strong in spirit. I'm telling you, don't say another negative thing about your ex. I'm serious. Don't say another negative because that it could be something else going on with them that is you all are just not on the same frequency, right? And hopefully you see it now. See it just as clear as this sky here. You're wiser now, you're more knowledgeable, you're severed ties with certain things. I'm telling you. Your person is here. Your person is here. You're literally sitting in front of a vault filled with every single thing that you want. And you don't have to wait until December 31st or January the 1st. You don't. You don't have to wait until 2022. It's happening right now. It literally is happening right now. So again, what I don't see um, in your cards, right, is like... Um, like this fire right here, some of you all are fired up, but what, but, and so instead of you looking as like, I've been burned so many times in love, there's no way I want, I've been burned in business. I've been burned. I've been burned that use that fire to fuel you to say, you know what? Okay. I'm going to open my heart to love again. Like y'all have seen some celebrities who've just like, you know what? I may have gotten married and gotten a divorce. And I was like, it literally felt like it took the air out of me. But guess what? I'm going to have the courage to love again. I'm going to have the courage to, you know, try this business venture again. I, I believe that it's I, it keeps coming into my spirit for a reason. And it's coming, yeah, it's coming into your spirit for a reason. Because it's meant for you to be wealthy. It's meant for you to be in a happy, healthy, romantic relationship with somebody. Continue doing the energy work. Continue aligning these. Um, continue aligning your chakras. Four plus, I mean, sorry, two plus two is four. Four is resonates with the earth element. You are earth sign. This is where you want to get completely rooted and grounded. That is what I have for you. I'll see you again in a couple of days. Again, happy holidays to each and every one of you. Wouldn't it be nice to be with your person during the holidays? Like you just, y'all just get each other. Y'all just understand each other on a whole nother level. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then more money coming your way. It's just ah, beautiful. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Bye.